It was in self-defense. Don't Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? What did those survivors at the entrance want from you? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. No one knows why the Butcher sent renegades to attack. Until we find out, we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. Who was your father? A hero of some kind? Ugh, oh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers. Got a medal. Who was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other and not each other and the infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. Oh, he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? What was your father like? This isn't the time or place, kid. Right, uh, I'm sorry. Interesting. Better get back to the plan, though, right? Right. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Hope that flashlight serves you well. Stuff that'll float your boat. 
better get shopping before I sing a sea shanty. Oh, that was on your radar, huh? You're firing all tubes. What a smart buy. 